barefoot and everything. Maybe we gotta get some uh, shoes on, huh? What are you, Evil Knievel? Some painting done for me, and we're painting the ship lap, and I'm super excited. Remember how much I hate concrete? I hate painting for This video is sponsored by Ariat. I'm hard on everything. I'm hard on tools, I'm hard on jeans, I'm hard on boots. Usually by about the six month mark, I've worn holes through the tips of the boots, but so far my Ariat boots are doing awesome. This week started out with a couple beautiful days, but I knew midweek we were supposed to have a couple of days of heavy rain. I had to get the new shop floor green cut to potentially control any cracks that might happen as the concrete dries. I thought about hiring this out and finding somebody that did it professionally, but it's not that complicated. So as usual, I decided to do it myself. I went down and picked up a couple of brand new wet or dry saw blades that would work in my skill saw, snapped a few chalk lines and went to work. Trees than I had to. I don't want to. I love it like that. I do too. You put it in the bathroom, maybe a jacuzzi, bathtub. How about a, a bucket with some sawdust in it? <laughs> Our oldest daughter, Sage, is in town for a week, and I wanted to take her to the back of the property and show her where we're about to start building a small off grid cabin.
We love having Sage here with us. She's still trying to figure out just how she feels about this place up here. She can see it means the world to me, and she knows how much I love nature, but she likes the city, and this is okay. Having her spend some time with us this week, especially as Father's Day is coming, means the world to me. In the meantime, we've been waiting for some parts to show up for the four-wheeler. Both of our four-wheelers are four-wheel drive, but they're older four-wheelers. There's an oil seal on the bottom of one of these four-wheelers that had failed, and the part finally showed up. With Rhett and Evan's help, we stood the four-wheeler up, removed the skid plate, accessed the faulty oil seal, got it replaced. Now we have two functional four-wheelers again. I'm sure it would be nice to have a couple of brand new four-wheelers that have no issues whatsoever, but in my mind, the common sense that is developed around working with your hands comes with having problems that need to be solved. Of course, I'm justifying my position, but the truth is, if nothing ever goes wrong, how do you know how to fix it? I've made an effort to put Rhett in positions where he has to figure things out like this, whether it's working on an old dirt bike, a four-wheeler, or many other projects around the property that we have. We're overdue to adjust the angle on our solar panels. The wintertime angle for our location is about 52 degrees. The summertime angle is about 20. The U-bolt from the back of my solar panel mounts are just loose enough that with a little bit of pressure, they can be adjusted to the proper angle for the time of year. Come late fall, we'll adjust them again. This is our little goat, Maple. A couple of months back, I banded her son, Jack, making him a weather, and at the same time, I put a couple of bands on her horns. I read somewhere that with time, those bands would cut off the blood flow to her horns, and they would slowly fall off. She's a bit of an ornery goat. We've considered getting rid of her because of this.
she's used those horns to hurt other goats, even the baby goats, and I wanted to give the banding a try. And sure enough, it's working. She's nowhere near as lethal as she used to be, and truthfully, her attitude has changed. Okay, so based on these nails? That means there's a stud? Yeah. Okay. Anywhere from 34 to 38 inches high. Uh, you have to do it. I would like it even between the things. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's okay. going to work out. Okay. I did this right. Oh, hey, how are you? Hey. Huh? I, I just screwed it together, but it's not tight. I know. Okay, so your line is right here. See that? That's the bottom. So this is up, up. Okay, so I need you to hold it right there. You have to use both hands on it, it's heavy. By code, one of the things that I have to do is have a handrail going up the stairs from top to bottom. I've thought to myself that this might be one of the few places that some black iron pipe would look good. Give me two of the screws, please. You can weld a chunk off. Weld a chunk onto it. After spending two days painting the shiplap wall, finishing that project up, I needed to get this handrail installed. I still have to build some sort of railing on the other side to prevent anything from falling off the top of the stairs. But in the meantime, I wanted to get this handrail checked off the list. I got rid of most of my plumbing specific tools like a pipe threader a number of years ago. So after making some measurements, I went down to the big box store and got some pipe cut, but one piece was too short and one piece was too long. So the end result is I had to do a little bit of modification using my welder and a grinding wheel. If I'd had a one inch hand threader, I very easily could have prevented this, but I'm not interested in getting some of those plumbing specific tools again. I have this fear that if I start picking up some of these tools again, and maybe put a pipe rack on my truck again, somebody might put me to work as a plumber. And as grateful as I am to have that skill in my back pocket, I hope and pray I never have to be a full-time plumber ever again. This is a very straight piece of maple that I cut down on our property about three and a half years ago. I knew then there had to be something I could do with this. I set the piece of wood aside and finally I found just the right project for this piece of maple.
The one thing that I haven't done with my sawmill is cut hardwood with it. I figured if I took it slow, everything would be fine. I still need to make some improvements to my sawmill. I still need to put a water lubrication system to the blade if I'm gonna to continue to cut wood with it. I need to weld a few braces here and there on the power head, but surprisingly, every time I use this thing, it does its job. The carbide blade that I put on it a couple of years ago is still plenty sharp. But like I said, if I'm gonna to continue to use it and do projects with it, I really need to make a few improvements to the sawmill. Hopefully after the shop is finished, later this summer, this is something that I can do. This week, Cedar and I will have our 22nd anniversary. On top of that, our oldest daughter, Sage, turns 21. She came up for the week to be with family and to spend her birthday here with us. She's been living down south for the last while. Being a father has its challenges. Having my daughters living a little bit too far away from me at times has bothered me because there's only so much that I can do when I'm hundreds of miles away. We're looking forward to having her back close by. It's also Father's Day this week. I'll never forget, as long as I live, the moment that I became a father. It was a life-changing moment. It was a moment where I recognized I needed to reevaluate my situation. It was a moment I recognized that I needed to do everything I possibly could to keep my wife home with our kids. It was also a moment that I recognized I needed to reevaluate some of my friends. Twenty one years later, I still find myself reevaluating just what's important. The greatest joys I've ever had in life have all been around my family.
having Cedar by my side and watching our kids grow up has been a beautiful thing. My hope has always been that as our kids grow through this phase of spreading their wings and leaving home, that at some point they would return. This is part of the reason we'll add a couple of bedrooms out in the shop where we can have family close, but still have the personal space that's so important. I was blessed with tremendous examples as fathers. I'll forever be grateful for the men in my life that showed me the best way to be a father. Happy Father's Day to you men out there that strive to be good fathers. Next week, the weather looks great. We're back to the shop and the off-grid cabin.